Can you hear and see me? I think I'm live. Am I live? Who oh, no. It's really early. Can you hear me? Am I live now? Hello, everybody. The cat's with me this morning. All righty. Looks like we're getting some people coming in. Everyone saying hi. Give me the thumbs up. I appreciate you all. Make sure you've got that uh, that cup of joe in hand or uh, lasagna, apparently, um, according to The Undertaker Callaway. Pretty good breakfast. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Ah, ASMR. 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 All right. We have the Misfits, Reptiles, and Aquatics. We got, I think it's pronounced Yason. I, I could be completely off on that. Let me know. Uh, Peter Gill, good to see you in here from Gill's Fish, one of our OFC sellers. Uh, Keller Guppies, good to see you. Uh, Joe L., good morning. Scott's Aquatics, good morning to you as well. And Tiffany White, good to see everybody in here hanging out with us. Looks like we got some more people just kind of coming in. Um, saying good morning. You know, it is early. It's a Sunday. Um, but we are doing a giveaway today, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, JT, good morning to you as well. Um, oh, the Undertaker Cowboy says, it's good. I'm guessing you're talking about your lasagna, your breakfast lasagna. Um, I don't think I've ever had lasagna for breakfast. That's That would be a new one for me. Let's see. I've done, you know, cold pizza breakfast. I've done all that, but I don't think I've ever done lasagna for breakfast. That's pretty epic, man. Pretty epic. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, like usual, we have no agenda. We have no like list of things we need to talk about. So if you guys have any questions, throw them up in the chat. Let me know, and uh, we can get to them when we when they pop up. Uh, but we still got some more people coming in and saying hello. We got Jim Foolery. Good to see you. Uh, looks like we're getting a couple more people rolling in. So I've been trying to do every Sunday again, um, and I've, I've made it two in a row. I'm pretty happy with myself. Huh? Um, so we're, we're just going to keep on trying to do this as much as we can um, because I love you guys. I love the uh, the community and everything that it, it offers. All right. Um, and today is going to be a big day because we did pass that 3K mark because of all of you. Um which is absolutely incredible. So thank you all so very much for that because it means more than you even know. Uh, but today we are going to be doing a giveaway that supports the community um, as well. So we're going to be doing $150 worth of gift cards to our fish collective. Um, and that will be used so that you guys can go and buy someone else's fish, snails, plants, whatever um, from our fish collective. But three people will be getting a $50 gift card to go over to OFC and buy something cool. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll just figure that out at the end here. I've got a, a little thing we need you guys to do just at the end of the uh, stream. And then uh, that'll make it nice and easy for us to, uh, to do that winner pick. So let's see who else we got coming in. We got Patty's Petite Tanks. Good morning. Good to see you. Vinoski's Tanks. Texas Fish Room. Good morning to you as well. Uh, all right, Hunter Brown finally caught a live stream. I'm always busy, more busy morning. I'm always busy morning, everyone. Oh, I'm always busy morning, everyone. There you go. Okay, that makes more sense now. Um, glad you made it, Hunter. That's awesome, man. Yeah, it's you know I try to do try to do it every morning because I'm the first one on for the day. Um, but I've been looking at potentially doing a different time slot, but I really like this time slot because I get to wake up, I get to grab my cup of coffee, and I get to come and just sit with you guys and just chat. Um, and it kind of starts off my day really positive and happy. So it helps, I think, hopefully with your guys's. So you never know. All right. Uh, we got Big Tank Hank in the house, throwing up his flexes. Urgh. Love it. Good to see you, Tank. Um, congratulations on 1k as well, man. That is awesome. It is well deserved, of course. Uh, everything aquarium, good to see you. Excited for the giveaway. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's going to be an awesome one. Um, Joe L. Peter, I wanted to ask, would you recommend me quarantine in a five gallon bucket or in a 10 gallon tank? I'm planning to buy a pair of Crebenzis and the 10 will eventually be turned into a breed tank. You could probably go either way. Um, you could do either the bucket or you could do the 10 gallon. Um, I know a lot of people do the five gallon bucket just because it's easy and you can just kind of clean it out really easily once you're done. Um, but if you have a 10 gallon tank, that's free. I would recommend that too. Cause then you can actually see the fish. Um, the 10 gallon, you know, with it being glass, you can see if there's any issues that are arising from a treatment of quarantine. Um, cause there can be some stuff that does pop up. Um, so I would recommend a 10 gallon tank, but a five gallon bucket, if that's all you have, will definitely work. Uh, good to see you, Steve. Glad you could make it in. Um, Timothy Darling saying, what's up everybody? Yeah. It's going to be a good morning, I think. It's going to be good. Also, we're wearing a, uh, a sponsored T-shirt today. So I'm going to get that out of the way real quick. Um, so this is from Into the AM, and it says, No Bad Days. Let me see if I can show you guys the back here, too. It's got a lady surfing. Got a lady surfing. So super cool. Um, great company. They're really awesome. Some really incredible fabric on these shirts. Um, and I'm wearing their joggers as well. Tiffany White dropping the $4.99 super chat. Thank you so much, Tiffany. That means a ton. That will buy me and my whole staff at the fish store a whole cup of coffee today. So thank you so much. Um, I try my best. Like everything that comes in here now it either goes right into, back into the fish shop um, or it goes right into here. So I really do appreciate it, Tiffany. Um, and that will be used very, very well. So thank you. And I am very excited that the 3K hit. It was it was unexpected on that last live stream or two live streams ago. Very unexpected. I was just going to take my time and hit it when I hit it. And you guys just pulled through and it was very humbling and very, very awesome what you guys did that day. So um, I really needed to pick up that that week um, had a lot going on and and that was incredible. So but thank you again, Tiffany uh, means so much. And that uh, that deserves a good, good cheers. I would be doing the um, the light thing that we have up here, but I don't know why. But the the glue stuff that come that like you know you got the command hooks and all that stuff that you stick on the wall and when you're when you're done with it, um, none of it's being able to like actually stick in the garage. I don't know if it's from the humidity or the heat or what, because um, it is really it's well it's not really humid in here. It's pretty humid in here. Um, but it's very warm in here. I think I've got it like right now it's up to like 82. Um, so and usually during the winter it's in the eighties. Um, so I think it's just the heat heat will allow it. Um, let's see if there's anything else fun that happened in the fish room in this last week. Um, pretty sure that the plecos are reading pretty sure, pretty sure. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool that they're going to be doing that. Uh, Big City Bet is in here. Pop it in to send some love. Congratulations on the new milestone. Hope the missus is doing well. She's doing awesome, actually. Um, actually, like, incredibly awesome. Um, she's, for a long time, had very serious migraines. Um, so she hasn't been able to do a whole lot with just day-to-day -day activity stuff. Um, so it's it's been really good lately because... She has changed everything up and she's no longer on any medication. She's just doing this really great supplement plan and it has been mind blowingly incredible. So she's able to do everything she wants to do in her life again. And it just makes me so happy because she's happier. So um, thank you for asking about her. Um, I really do appreciate that. And I hope you guys are doing well too. Um, I've been trying to catch up on all your stuff, but I haven't seen a whole lot lately, but you guys have been, I'm sure super busy with everything going on in your lives with, you know, moving and all that stuff. So um, thank you for stopping in. Everything Aquariums and Tip T Timothy Darling, you guys are the best. This is definitely starting out right. Thank you so much, Everything Aquarium and Timothy Darling. Um, you know, I'm actually, maybe we take your guys' money, flip it back around and put it back into this, uh, this giveaway today. What do you guys think about that? Um, what about we bump up the gift cards from $50 each, three $50 gift cards to three 
$75 gift cards. What do you guys think about that? So that would be, I am awful at math. So um, I am I am definitely a write it down or get it wrong kind of person. Um, I'm actually not terrible at math, but I just don't like doing it. So let's see, we're at $225 um, at worth of gift cards if we do that. So I think that is the play. Um, thank you guys so much for that. That means so much, but we're definitely gonna turn it around and give it back to the community here. Um, and again, the gift, the giveaway that is going on today is not for my fish. It's not for the waterfronts fish. It is for other hobbyists fish that are on that site. So um, let me actually see if I can, well, let's go through the chat here a little bit and then I'll show you guys what we've got for stock on the OFC right now. Uh, so Joe L says, thanks, Peter. I think I'm going to go with the 10 gallon for easy dosage. I also wanted to ask, does ICX stain the aquarium silicone in your experience? I'm re-entering the hobby and quarantining. Um, Joel, it does kind of tend to do a little bit of blue if it's like the um, the aqua top or the top fin tanks. They tend to be a little bit more prone to the blue. Um, but really it doesn't, I mean, most silicone has a little bit of a tint to, of blue in it and the longer it's in there, it'll get more blue. Um, but I haven't had it like absolutely just turn completely blue, but I have seen it before. So um, in my personal experience, I've never had it happen, but I've seen it. So I'm sure it does definitely happen. Um, and I know in the fish store, we tried um, to get all of our tanks actually have black silicone. Um, so therefore we don't have to, uh, to worry about any of that kind of stuff. So we have just black silicone in the store. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, good morning, Maria. Good to see you. Uh, I'm glad you guys could make it in. You guys are awesome. Um, I'm really excited to see the, uh, the guppy domino, the guppy domino, uh, furloughs aquatics. Good morning, guru and crew. Good morning to you as well. Um, the crew is just my cat screaming, screaming around in the, the fish room today. She's running around. She's having a blast. Um, big city bed as well. Congrats to her. That's amazing. Give her a big hug for me. My grams are absolute bull crap. I'm so glad she's found something that works for her. Yes, they are absolute bull crap. Uh, me and her both get them very, very badly. And, uh, she is definitely, definitely pulling through this and, and, uh, it's been incredible. So thank you very much. And I will let her know that you sent her some love. Uh, Jim Foolery finally finished moving down to one five gallon tank. What options for five gallon tanks for space, weight, aquascaping opportunities? They make sense. I just want guppies, shrimp, and nano fish. All right, so let's see. So, what's an option for a five gallon tank? Five gallon tank, you could do batis. Um, you could do some really cool um, betta fish. You could do some CPDs. Um, you could do. Let's see what else you could do. You could do maybe some like peacock gudgeons. Um, um, couldn't do any quarry cats, couldn't do any plecos. Hmm. Five gallon tank. Some Phoenix rasboras, some chili rasboras. Peter Gill said Endlers. Endlers is an awesome option there for sure. Um, you could probably do a, a trio of guppies, no problem. Um, definitely shrimp. I mean, shrimp you can put into practically anything and they go bonkers. Um, we've actually kind of run across a really weird situation um, where we've actually been trying to see if our neo shrimp would do better in warm or cold water and they've been doing better in like colder water, like in 70 degree water. So super weird, um, but definitely an interesting, uh, like something we figured out just by happenstance. So um, Ian said pygmy quarries. Yeah, you could do pygmy quarries for sure. That's a good little option. Um, and then, I mean, you've got just pretty much all those little small schooling fish. You could do a few of those. Um, Let's see, I'm trying to think of what else I could imagine myself putting in a five gallon. Cause I get asked this a lot. You know, we have people um, ask me like, Hey, I've got a three gallon or a four gallon or a five gallon and uh, don't know what to put in there. Uh, Big city betta says sparkling garami are great for five gallons. Um, a single pea puffer and plants 
Rasboras like strawberry, Phoenix, emerald, chili, and a paradise fish or a pear. Oh, so you're getting a lot of great options here, man. A lot of great options. That was a really good question. Thank you very much for that one. That was that was Stella. All right. Um, and then for plants, you could do crips. You could do um, Rotala is a really good one to kind of just be able to chop down. Uh, Baby Tears is a good one. Guppy Grass is awesome. Moss is an incredible one for a five gallon. Um, you could do, like if you're looking to actually plant it, plant it. Um, then I would go definitely go like uh, a Crypt would be a really good one because it stays nice and colorful. Uh, you could do Dwarf Sagittaria. You could do Dwarf Hair Grass. You could do, there's a lot of really good options for plants that would that would do good in there for sure. That would definitely do good in there. Um, everything aquarium says if people want it, give it to them. Yeah, that's definitely what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing three seventy-five dollar gift cards, three seventy-five dollar gift cards to the OFC. Um, the Undertaker Callaway says got babies, got some new guppies and balloon mollies. Had to move some fish. You know that happens. You got to move fish around sometimes, and it uh, it just works out great for you though. Um, Texas Fish Room says everybody hit that like button. I appreciate that, man. That's awesome. Uh, Big City Beta says, yes, busy, busy. Uh, I just finished chemo and I'm about to launch a website for beta sales. And Joseph is kicking, but managing a family group of restaurants. Hopefully content is coming soon. Well, I am glad that you uh, finally finished the chemo because cancer sucks. Uh, it actually absolutely does. Um, but I've been praying for you guys this whole time. And I am glad to hear that you're, uh, you're coming out on the end of that. And I am super excited to see your guys' website. I've been waiting for it for years. Um, and it's it's going to be really awesome. I know you, whatever you guys do is just top notch. So um, you'll definitely be getting my support on that for sure. Um, and uh, and Joseph's kicking butt, doing managing a family group of restaurants. <laughs> of course he is. Guy's incredible. That guy's incredible. All right. Let's go back down through here. Uh, Jacob Kelly, good morning. Uh, Fishmon64, good morning to you. Um, Steve Heller says, can you explain more about your hobby program or website? So yes, so um, Our Fish Collective, so what Our Fish Collective is, is pretty much just a hosting site for other people's fish. But there's multiple little layers that we've added in in order to kind of elevate and support the community here. Um, so we help people with supplies that they may need, with how to pack fish correctly. Um, we ask them to send us a test fish, whether that be just something that's deformed or something they don't want anymore, whatever. Um, and we just have a tank that we, they just all go in and there's, I think there's only like 10 fish in there. Um, and they just kind of just hang out together. Um, but most people just send like a deformed guppy or something. And the reason that we ask for a test shipment is because we want to make sure that that fish makes it alive to us. Because if it doesn't make it to us alive, then we have to go with the, the potential breeder for the site and say, hey, these are the couple things that probably were the issue. Um, so let's revise that and then we can go from there. So we just really try our best to make sure that every single person who's on the site has all the support they could possibly need um, in order to make sure that every transaction that they do with somebody on the site is fulfilled properly and with their best results. Um, and then another thing is the percentage we take, we send you guys like stickers and coupons and like all sorts of really cool stuff to put in your packages, uh, extreme food samples, um, and then up. Uh, 5% of the every sale actually goes back into a fund that we have separate from uh, the company that sits there. And then if something happens, so let's say someone's tank explodes and it's their only tank and the community decides we need to rally and help this person get a new tank. Um, dang cat. Um, <laughs> we can go together and say, here you go. So-and-so as a community, we would like to support you in rebuilding this. And here is, you know, a PayPal or Venmo for X amount of dollars. And uh, it's just showing more support for the community. So um, it's just really, it's just awesome. Um, when Ian and I were building it, it was just like all the things that we wanted to see, we just put into it. 
Um, and we are actually in the process of currently rebuilding the back end for you guys as well, um, which is a really fun process because it's going to give you guys the access to actually go in and do whatever you want to your own little store. Um, right now it is Ian and myself pretty much sitting there and adding products and everything for all of our sellers. Um, and it's been very time consuming and it's it's been a process, but we want to make sure that that is easier for you guys and for us as well. Um, so we've put, put some time and effort into getting that rebuilt right now. So it should hopefully be in the next couple months that'll come through. Um, but we're going to start adding more breeders here pretty soon and it'll be just, it's going to be awesome. And uh, OFC has been really fun to, to like watch the community and see how awesome we've been supporting the local breeder. Um, it's just been really, really fun. Um, so thank you for that question, Steve. I really appreciate it. Uh, Scott's Aquatics has given Amber the heart, heart, pray, pray, pray. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. We got some Endlers. There's a couple of pygmy quarries. Yep, sparkling garamis. Um, Louis Snaza throwing up 20 bucks, adding to the giveaway. Whoop! That's awesome. Uh, so Louis is the other owner of the uh, waterfront, if you guys did not know. Um, super awesome. Thank you very much, Lewis. Um, I will make sure that that goes into that for sure. Uh, so it looks like it is definitely going to be 75. Maybe by the end of the stream, it'll be a hundred dollar gift cards. Um, you never know. You never know. Uh, Rico stands in the house. Good to see him, my man, uh, because your fish is here. Uh, Muppet 929. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody else here. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Florida Fish Rescue. Good to see you. Glad you could make it in, everybody. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed to Rico Stan, I'm going to be doing a live stream with him next Saturday. Super excited about that. Um, he does kind of like a spotlight um, spotlight video, and uh, it's really it's really fun. It's really fun. I'm really excited about it. Uh, Color Guppies. Good to see you. I am thinking about selling on OFC. Um, awesome. Yeah, send us a, a little link through the the kind of like the list we've got all set up where you send in like a submission and stuff. Um, and we will definitely get that started right now. We're kind of on a little like hold because we're doing that new site build. So everything's kind of like in this weird limbo stage, um, but definitely send in your information. And then once that gets transferred to the new site, um, we will start doing that all again. Um, but the biggest thing for what we do on OFC is just that we want to make sure everybody just has the best possible experience either for just the seller or for the customer who's purchasing. Um, so that's all, that's the goal. Uh, Peter Gill says, OFC is awesome. And I really do appreciate that, Peter. Um, you have been an incredible seller as well. He's got some awesome white clouds and a couple other really cool fish on there. Um, so definitely go check out his store too. Cause if you win one of the giveaways, uh, you can probably end up buying something from him cause he's awesome. Uh, Rico Stan says, I bought from OFC like five times. Can't remember if it was five or six, but happy with all the transactions. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, it's it's been really fun to see. Like, the cool part is, is we just have like, like these are the things that you kind of need to do in order to make sure that everything arrives alive. And then you have like Laugh and HC Aqua who just go above and beyond said like requirements. Lav is like the absolute best when it comes to packaging. She makes everything just so Im impeccable and just beautiful. Has little like ribbons when you open the foam and it's just it's just drop dead gorgeous every time that you you open a box from her. So super super awesome um that it's like it is your own store within a site and that's that was the whole goal. Um Peplin Creek says congrats on 3k Peter. I appreciate that. Yeah, it was a uh, it was definitely, definitely a humbling day. That is for sure. Humbling day. Uh, Maria says, yes, we love our shipping supply box. Yeah, there. that's another thing that we, um, right now we have to put that on hold too because we're waiting on some more supplies to come in because everything's just taking forever right now um, to get in. And, uh, and it's just kind of like, we just have to, we're playing this weird cat and mouse game with a lot of our, our people trying to get stuff in, but that's just the world that we're in right now because of the, the panorama, uh, Panera bread, whatever you want to want to call it. Um, 
so it's it's been really fun still though to be able to interact with uh, with everybody on Gamora. What are you doing? Ah, <laughs> oh, cats. Oh, cats. Uh, she's probably mad because I haven't fed her yet. She is a she's a food driven kitty cat. Uh, Mariko Stan says that pop sound makes me think I'm watching Fish Room Fever for a minute. Yeah, that's just the bubble. The I love it. Uh, it's better than an air pump sound, that is for sure. So right now we're rocking a new pump as well. Um, so we've got the the Gemco LPH45 running all the tanks behind me. Um, but then right here off camera, um, which is really close to the microphone, so I really wanted to try this one. And we're putting it to the test right now. Um, but it is surpassing all those tests and doing an incredible job. Um, but it is the Gemco diaphragm pump, uh, the 15. And it's running two 120s right now, and it has more air than those two need. Um, so I'm really, really happy with it. They make some incredible products, um, and they're they're just a good company too. Um, just a really good company. Um, let's see. Get back up here. Kimberly asked me a question, and I don't want to miss it. Um, I am really far behind in the chat. I think here. Don't want to miss anybody's anybody's questions let's see let's see let's see all right there it is uh kimberly good to see you good morning um i am very interested in your process but mr explanation i'll keep listening the artful guppy oh that's a good name that is a good name the artful guppy that's pretty cool um i'm very interested in your process but mr explanation i'm guessing you're talking about our fish collective um but yeah you can just go on our site you can check it out um and and see uh see what pops up see if you uh, like the idea and uh, it's I really enjoy it um, it's really fun to interact with not only the breeders but the customers um, and just be able to like help where's where is needed um, but really a lot of the time like once you get it down um, like that if initial first jump into shipping fish is just very very nerve-wracking um, it's very like is it gonna get there is it not uh, but having us be able to be there and be like, no, it'll it'll be fine, and you know, we'll make sure that you're good, and blah 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 blah. Uh, it's just another another really good step to to help the community grow more, uh, because right now it's really hard to get a lot of fish from outside of the country, and so we're like even in in store, we really rely a lot on our local breeders. Um, to bring some stuff in um, so that we can, you know, have a good stock, a good healthy stock. Um, and so it's it's really awesome that we have OFC as well so that you guys have opportunities to be able to go on and purchase something that's really healthy, really awesome, you know, raised in water that could be potentially similar to yours. Um, or you can reach out to the breeder and say, hey, you know, I've got two questions here. What temperature, what pH, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why I keep saying blah, 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 blah today. It's like that uh, part in, uh, uh, what's that movie? <laughs> why am I, Hotel Transylvania, where he's like, I don't say blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, so I've been saying that. Um, so it's really cool because they can reach out directly to the breeder and be like, hey, I've got a question, you know, is the temperature 80? Is it 78? Is it 62? What do you have them at? And it's just one more way to make, make it just easier for everybody on both ends and have a successful fish keeping experience. Um, that's the biggest thing is, is having a good fish keeping experience. Um, against the flow. Hello to you as well. Congrats on the three K. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, Steve says, I like it. The website name is our fish collective. Um, Maria asked how our chickens are updates and your pond. Um, Chickens are doing great. We did end up actually losing one. Um, we had this really weird, like, so it got up to like 80 degrees and then it dropped back down to like 30, um, like overnight, like absolutely crazy. Um, so one of our chickens, I don't know if it was just the stress from that storm or what, but she didn't make it, which was really a bummer. Um, but we still have three other chickens and they're doing great. Um, super healthy, super happy, laying off lots of eggs. Um, and then the pond is doing really good. Um, the two koi fish overwintered great. Um, the one ranchu fish overwintered great. 
Um, and the only thing that mosquito, um, the only thing that didn't make it through the winter was the pipe that actually runs from the, the pump that's like for the waterfall itself. Um, uh, that didn't make it through. It's like got like seven holes. And so it's just like, so had to unplug that. So we just have the internal, um, filter system going on right now, just to kind of keep it, keep it healthy in there for them. But everybody's doing great out there in the pond for sure. Um, Patty saying good morning to everybody. Uh, Rico Stan says, Peter Gill, thanks. I have Alex from the secret life or secret history living within your aquarium this Tuesday and Peter, the man himself this upcoming Saturday. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome. It's been a really cool series to watch. Um, it's just fun to like, like be able to see people closer, you know, like, yes, I like fish, but I'm also way more than that. I think. Um, so it's, it's been really fun to watch that and, and see other people too, because you just never, you never really know someone until you really know someone. Um, uh, 3G, good to see you in here. Glad you could make it. Um, oh, you changed your name up, Greg, the guppy guy. 3G, nice. Uh, Victoria Henderson says the dedication you guys show is awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that, Victoria. Um, you know, we try our best. And it's, it is a lot, but we, we definitely try our best. That is for sure. Um, Scott's aquatic says, I hope it's just the cat. Yeah, it's just the cat. She's just back there just messing around with stuff. Um, because your Fisk is asking, he is also another breeder on the site. Um, will the new OFC website allow different shipping options for breeders? Yes. Yes, it will. Um, you can kind of do whatever you want now at this point we can revise whatever you need um but yeah you'll be able to kind of set your own own pricing uh pricing structure uh joshua is in the house and josh is actually the one who is uh helping to build this site so super awesome um really great guy another fish fam member um has a couple of really beautiful discus and some awesome guppies and stuff so uh Really cool that you can make it in here, Josh, and be able to uh, to kind of see what goes on on a Sunday morning. Um, uh, Joel says, Peter, if you don't mind, are you still associated with the waterfront? Yes, I am. I am an owner of the waterfront. I am an owner of the waterfront. Um, Kimberly says, thank you so much. Uh, Joel says, I'd like to purchase from OFC, but I'm starting a dwarf cichlid phase. I'm also paranoid of things going wrong during the process. Uh, you know, it, that's totally understandable. It is a shipping. Anything is always hard um, for sure. But we, I think there are, there were a couple dwarf cichlids on there before. Um, I don't know if there are right now. I don't think so. Um, but you know, with more breeders potentially coming on, that means that there will be more stock, which means there are more cool fish. Um, but super awesome. Um, group of people we have on there right now that I am, I trust a lot to be able to get you guys incredible quality. Um, Josh is saying, thanks for the shout out. Super excited to join in. Yeah, of course, Josh. Um, you have been an awesome, awesome person thus far to work with. And uh, we really appreciate you at, and uh, all you guys are doing. So thank you very much. Um, let's see. Ian Brown's in the house. Uh, he's watching from his shop. So Ian is one of the other, uh, OFC owners. Uh, super awesome. He was the one that actually built the incredible site that we have thus far. Um, so definitely give him some props for everything that he has done so far. Cause he does a lot, does a lot for us. Um, so he's in the house, but he's watching from his shop and he has his own business as well. It's separate. So we just try our best to get as much as we can done for everybody. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the guru is back. I am hopefully back in more capacity now. Yes. Um, with the wedding still now three weeks away as of yesterday, three weeks till the wedding. Um, we're getting down in the time. Um, super cool and excited about all of that. Um, it's just very stressful. Um, but we are really excited that it's, it's coming up, it's coming up quick. Um, and we can, we can enjoy it 
uh, we're going to be with just a bunch of really, really good family members. And uh, it's going to be it's going to be really nice and enjoyable. We're going to do a whole weekend with everybody instead of just one day. Um, and then we're going on a honeymoon, which I'm really excited about because um, we are going somewhere tropical and warm and it's going to have a beach and it's going to be great. And I'm going to see some some sloths and some turtles. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. <clears throat> um, Joe L says, I still see that there are the Black Friday sales on the OFC website. I wonder how long that sale lasts. Um, so that's just on Ian's products. We just didn't change the banner on that. Um, but it's just, he's just doing a sale and he just decided just to keep it up. So every breeder can do their own little sales if they want. Um, let me actually see if I can jump over there real quick for you guys and show you the OFC. Let's see. Bear with me one second. One second. Got to make sure that we're oh. all good here boom 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 share screen application window chrome tab boom, boom boom share okay all right so right now this is what the site is looking like um so you can kind of go through and you can pick what you want here lav is the featured breeder of the month uh, she put some more stuff back up, which is super awesome. If you guys haven't ordered from her, she is by far the best snail breeder. I think probably, I would say in the world, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, she's been making some awesome, incredible content too on how to keep your snails. Um, so if you guys, oh, I messed that up. If you guys um, want to be able to kind of learn more how to keep snails and keep them healthy and happy and everything, um, she is an incredible, incredible person, um, just through and through. Um, so that's, she's got some really cool stuff up, some mugs and all that as well. And then you can just go to shop here and then you can go down through. So like you can see here, um, Maine's Tales, Furs and Fins has done a, a little sale here to help support some, uh, some local people. Um, and I, I believe she was doing it mostly for the Texas, uh, weather that was going on she wanted to give some people some some money off so that they had the opportunity to rebuild their fish rooms um then we got like gills fish here um some really awesome stuff we got some merch on the site these are incredible fish uh, from the guppy shack uh peacock endlers if you're looking for some endlers least killy fish another really cool one you don't see very often um around in the hobby um, or in lo local fish stores or anything um, some Dumbo Black Panda pears, really cool. Corkscrew Val, awesome, awesome plant. Absolutely one of my favorites. Um, some Mutt Guppies, some Mutt Guppies. Some Bristlenose Plecos from uh, right there. We got Lefty on here too. Uh, Bay Area Aquatics with some plants and some Corbenzis, some shrimp. Uh, because your fish right here, he's got some pretty cool stuff. Some Daisy Blue Rice Fish. The Golden Back Shrimp are awesome. Sassin Snails, Corydoras. So there's some really, you know, and then we got shirts and stuff and then all of Lav snails got some of my plants and stuff. Um, this is a really cool thing Ian made um, where it's like a, a passive water system. So you put this on the corner of your fish tank and uh, and then you put the bottle and then you don't need to do top offs. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, we've got a couple of them hanging around in here too. So um, yeah, so the Black Friday sale just is pretty much just that's what it is. It's just a banner. Um, but yeah, so you can get custom stickers too, if you want them. Um, we can, you know, help you out with that and, and get you some stuff, uh, t-shirts, all that on here. So if you guys do want to get a t-shirt of someone else's channel, um, the gift cards that we'll be giving away today also can work towards those if you guys want. Um, because that's just supporting them too. Cause we actually, for every shirt that is not mine or Ian's, um, we actually send money for those as well, earn mugs and all that stuff. So if you guys want to buy, buy some stuff, uh, some merch to support some of the other breeders, then, uh, then we actually, actually, uh, 
<laughs> sorry, I got lost in the chat there for a second. Um, we send them the money that they would make on that too. So pretty cool. Uh, because your fish says congrats on the wedding coming fast. Sounds like some amazing stuff planned. Yeah, it's, it's been really fun. Um, Courtney is an absolutely incredible person and she planned literally every detail of this wedding down to like, it's, it, she's incredible. She loves to plan parties and, and just enjoys that. Um, that's kind of her thing. And uh, so she's really had a blast doing the wedding. Um, it's been really fun just to, just to have our family around more and, and be able to, uh, to do this event with them too. And it's going to be really, it's going to be awesome. Um, uh, Florida fish rescue says, Hey, Joshua, check the site. We should make a connection. Yeah, there you go, Josh. Uh, Peter Gill lab is awesome. Best snails in the game. Definitely best snails in the game. Had, did anyone see her last post about Harvey? So she's got this one snail, right? That is half white on its, on its actual meat, like on its face half white, half black, right? And it's so old that it's like shell started to kind of break down. So she took a chicken egg and used the shell from the chicken egg and adhered it with like the natural membrane of the chicken egg to the shell of Harvey so that Harvey's shell wouldn't be open. Like that is incredible. That is genius. That is just, she's just the best, just the best. Um, because your fish says I have ordered from lab on OFC. Excellent experience. Yeah, she is. She is a good one. Um, yeah, everyone's saying, saying that too. Just, she's the best willing to answer any questions you've got for sure. Rico Stan says that because your fish guy is okay too. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah. <laughs> he's awesome. He's a great one. Local guy. Really appreciate him as well. Um, I, I appreciate everybody that, that comes and interacts and just does does anything for the hobby. It's uh, it it is appreciated across the whole board. The whole board. Uh, Kevin Leong, good to see you. Glad you can make it in. Good morning. Um, Josh is asking a question here. Uh, have any suggestions for other high temp plants aside from Java fern and Anubias? Um, I've put Jungle Val in high temp. Did great. Um, I've put. Rotala rotundifolia in high temp and it did great. Um, I've got a dwarf aquarium lily in 84 degree water. It's doing great. Um, trying to think, I, you know, I mean, you could pretty much put, as long as you do a slow burn, if you get my, my mean in there, um, you could pretty much get any plant up to a high temp. Um, but definitely the, the jungle val I've done, the, the Rotala I've done, and then the, the Dwarf Aquarium Lily I've also done. So those are three really, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Those are three really good plants that are easy to get. So, um, and I can hook you up, Josh. I got all sorts of that stuff too. So, um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, Josh is saying Florida fit. I'm actually going to do this here. How about this? How about this? Boom. Josh, you're now a moderator. Ian, you're a moderator. Let's see what else we uh, gotta get. Gotta get. I don't know where Maria's not. Maria should be. I'm gonna just make a bunch of you guys real quick. Just give me like, give me like ten seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're in. Now we're in. Now we're doing doing it. We're doing it. Doing it. Uh, mains, tails, furs, and fins. Good to see you. Um, we just showed off some of your stuff on the OFC. Um, definitely an awesome collection of stuff you got there, especially like the guppies that you are selling. Like incredible. Like the let's see, where's the ones that are really like the blue dragon dumbos are drop dead gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous, absolutely beautiful fish. Um, I don't know why more people haven't purchased those. In my personal opinion, I would have um, if I had more tank space. Just one of those uh, one of those things that I'm sure sure with this uh, this giveaway, people will be end up buying those. I'm sure they'll end up buying them. 
Uh, right. Uh, 3G says fishing and lurking. Ooh, nice. What you fishing for today, uh, Greg the Guppy Guy? Hopefully something cool. Um, yeah, Peter Gill says, I really want some of those guppies. They're stunning. They really are. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. They really are. Um, <laughs> she said, if I have to say so myself, they are. I love them, and I have worked really hard on them. Well, I, you should be very proud. Those are a very beautiful fish. Um, I just love their, like, their body pattern too. Like the, the pictures that you sent us to post up, just like you can see the, the, like the coloration and the patterning going through the body is just awesome. Um, and right now for 38 25 for a trio, pretty stellar price. Not going to lie, not going to lie. Um, and also you've got purple Dumbo mosaic trios, which is my absolute favorite guppy in the entire world for the same price. So if someone really wants some good fish, definitely go check out all the sellers on the site for sure. Cause this is, it's incredible. It is incredible. What, what has been bred and raised and everything on the site. It's really, it is really cool. All right. Let's see. Fresh aquatic says I finally caught a stream. I've been waiting to get into one of these again for a while now. How's it hanging everyone? Well, glad you can make it in fresh aquatics. Uh, I think everyone's doing great. You know, it's a Sunday morning at 9:45 mountain time. Uh, cause I'm in Utah. Um, and it is, what is it? April, April 11th, April 11th. Um, and life is just good. I think for a lot of people right now, you know, we're, we're coming out of the, the Panera bread. Um, hopefully here pretty soon. Um, you know, it seems like, seems like it's starting to, to catch the end of the, the process there. Um, and it's getting warmer, which is nice. Everyone loves the warm weather. So, um, yeah, so I think everyone's doing really good. I think everyone's doing good. Uh, Sandy, good to see you. Glad you can make it in. She said, the morning fishy people. Good morning to you too, Sandy. Um, Patty says, things are hand and low until I get dressed and tighten things up a bit. Oh, Patty. Oh, Patty, Patty, Patty. <laughs> uh, that's good. That is good. All right. Um, coffee break. <laughs> Patty, that's just oh, that was good, Patty. Oh man, needed a good laugh. Everyone needs a good laugh. All right, let's see. Yeah, throw up some more questions if you guys have them. Um, let's see what else we got. We got um, we did name the flower horn. Um, Courtney wanted to uh to name it, so we named it Lotus. So don't know if it's a boy, don't know if it's a girl. So that name kind of fits both ways. Um, so therefore, if it's a boy, awesome. If it's a girl, awesome. But its name is Lotus. So Lotus is hanging out. Super interactive fish. Like, see how see how it's already because it knows that I super fun. Um, loves to be on camera, loves to be just interacting with me. Um, so we're probably probably gonna end up moving her him it sometime. Um, but right now she's doing great in the the ten gallon. I uh, got a sponge in there for. Her. Um, I'm feeding her just the uh, the cichlid gold at this moment. But I'm probably going to grab uh, a bag of the Excalibur. I think it's the pearl dust. Um, I think that's what it's called. Because um, that will really help with her coloration and. I, want to get her head a little bigger if it is a boy um we'll see but uh still she's just absolutely drop dead gorgeous really beautiful pearl essence um i'll probably end up i'll take a picture today and i'll post that on instagram for you guys so that you guys can all see how awesome she is um misfits reptiles and aquatics any big changes coming to the fish room this summer not asking about specifics just if you got stuff in the works or not um yeah so some big stuff going on um Hmm. Let's see. You know, right now it's just kind of like I've got 900 things on a plate. Um, and that plate just keeps getting fuller, unfortunately. Um, 
but right now I really don't have any two big, huge plans of my own stuff. Um, my biggest plans right now going forward are to work more on OFC, uh, work more in the shop, um, so that we can, you know, do what we need to do there. Um, but you know, there's always stuff I want to do. I want to, you know, do more to the pond. I want to do more in the fish room. Um, we want to add some new fish if potentially there's an option. Um, there's some really cool breeding projects I'm working on. Um, but we're definitely going to, once I get back from the wedding and the honeymoon and all that stuff, um, I'm going to be doing another fish room tour for you guys because the fish room is completely different from what it was when I did that first fish room tour um, back a, over a year ago now. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, there's stuff coming. There's always stuff, but uh, it's just, just right now there's, I can't, I have no idea what's what's going on next week. So you never know. Never know. My fiance's in the house, Courtney Ririneke. Uh, Good to see you, baby. Glad you could make it. Hopefully you're feeling well this morning. Um, so, yeah, it's, you know, it's this summer. We're definitely going to be doing some more koi stuff. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing any summer tubbing just because I don't really have a whole lot of time for that. Um, so it's just kind of like right now, limbo stage, um, work with what I've got. Cause I've got some incredible stuff, um, in here right now. Um, I'm trying to breed some festivums, which would be pretty fun. Um, I've already got them to lay eggs once. Um, got a couple wigglers out of it, but I just wasn't, wasn't prepped for it. So I didn't get them to the full capacity yet. Um, so there's just, you know, just stuff, just a lot of stuff going on, um, that we're super excited about still though. Uh, Kevin's asking, are those all 10 gallon tanks? Yes, they are all 10 gallon tanks behind me um, on the two racks right here. These are all 10 gallons. Um, that rack right there, though, is all 20 longs, uh, except for this tank right here, which is a 30 long, um, which is the same footprint as a 20, just a little bit taller, I believe. Um, and then the tank behind me is a 75. Um, these are just tanks that I just have just in case it's a five gallon right there for qt if something gets really sick um, and then this one was just a three gallon marine land that i had up on my counter here but i just didn't need it up there anymore so i just moved it down there um, and then off camera over here we've got two 120s um, top one we've got a bunch of plants some awesome awesome java ferns some really good pieces of wood um, from rainbow shrimp um, and then we've got a mango pleco in there and his name is joe mango pleco uh, like joe manganello but joe mango pleco um, and then the tank below that, we've got some really awesome wild quarry cats, some hero severums or rock hill severums. Um, uh, and then we've got some really awesome, beautiful festivums. So got some cool stuff in the, sh in the, the fish room right now. Uh, got a lot of people saying hello to everybody. Scott's aquatics. Good to see ya. Uh, all right. Wow. Courtney, you saying good morning to everybody. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, all right. Petro Man 1185. Good morning to you as well. That is a cool name. I love like seeing like all the like different cool screen names that everyone has. I just think it's awesome. Um, let's see. Hunter Brown, Guppy Guru. What size would your dream tank be, including size, stocking, and overall design? Okay, if it could be out of this world, right? Like very impractical. If I had all the space and all the money in the world and could do whatever I wanted and all that, it would be literally a river with a lake and I would have trout. I'd breed trout, rainbow trout. But it's impossible because <laughs> no one has that much space. Um, but that would be, that would be an absolute dream, uh, to have, have that for sure. Um, but if we're talking like just personal, what I would want, um, <laughs> Courtney saying a while, here we go. Um, yeah, she, she knows that I want to have a huge pond and a river and stuff and all that. Um, but really it's just, it's just what I've got. 
I mean, I'm absolutely in love with every single tank I have. Um, I moved some stuff around, pulled some fish out that I wasn't like absolutely in love with anymore. Um, so it's just, you know, what I have right now, I'm very, very, very happy with. Um, the one thing that I do really want again, um, because I lost the one to the ick and then the other one decided to eat the plant was the zebra pikes. Uh, so I don't have those anymore. So at some point in the future, I do want to get those fish again because they're absolutely beautiful, stunning, great personalities on them. Um, so that's, that's something I definitely want to get again. Um, let's see, what else could I think of? You know, like a shark would be cool. Uh, freshwater stingrays would be really, really awesome. Um, you know, everyone, there's just so many things that you could potentially have. Um, it's just so awesome. Like just the, all the opportunities. But uh, if I were just no space, no limits, no nothing, it would definitely be like a river with a lake and be able to, uh, to um, breed trout for sure. All right. Brianna's fish fam packing up some orders. So lurking morning, afternoon, everybody. Good to see you. Glad you can make it. Hopefully your uh, shipments all go awesome. Uh, it's so cool. And so like it's nerve wracking, but also cool to ship out fish. It's one of my favorite things. Uh, fish tuber said just switched over so I can throw a thumbs up on this stream from this account and add it to the live list on the site. I appreciate that, man. I really do. I really do. Um, it's always awesome to like, have more support from the community. Um, I try my best on my own personal community page to uh, just shout out some stuff when it comes up. Um, so if there's ever something that you guys are seeing in the community that needs a little more um, out there, let me know. I'm more than willing to put it out, more than willing. Uh, fish, Farm Fish and Freedom says, I've got 10 ponds between one and 10 acres on my farm full of bass and carpy or crappy crappy hmm. um but i would but i would do anything to have a trout river yes see i'm not the only one trout river would be incredible could you imagine going out into your own backyard or your own whatever taking a fishing pole casting out and catching like a 10 pound rainbow trout out of your own pond that you ran like what that would be just the coolest thing it would be mind-blowingly incredible and just fun just fun. get up you know get your little boat out there little electric boat or rowboat out there we got a little thing. trout 10 pound trout beautiful okay so i'm not the only one so thank you farm fish for uh for agreeing with that um uh, fresh aquatics is guppy guru last time we checked i was trying to get a place on our fish collective still working on that taking my time no worries no worries um definitely take your time right now because we're kind of in like this like i said a weird stage where we're building the new site and you know with all the weird stuff going on in the world you know shipping being all messed up and just everything being so weird it's been really difficult to be able to get not only the test shipments out to us but to be able to be like hey weather's not great or blah 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 I did it again, blah, 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 blah. I'm turning into Dracula. Um, so definitely take your time, no worries. Um, let us know when you're ready and we will uh, we'll get that process started. Uh, Jeffrey Watts, I'm trying to wake my fingers up to chat. Well, good morning. Um, wake up quicker fingers, grab a cup of coffee. Um, actually this, we can do that. I'm in the process of washing all of the uh, the OFC mugs I've got um, so that I can start using those again and streams too. Cause they're just, let me see. Uh, it's kind of a mess over there, but you guys will be fine. No, this is one of the, this is some of the best stuff. One of the best things you could have in your fish room is just aquarium salt. So if you don't have aquarium salt, definitely go grab some, but this whole section right here is just all fish fam mugs, just people, that sell on OFC and just people that I like to support. So, um, yeah. And then you can see all the extreme food and Marison and all that stuff up there too. Um, all the stuff I use, you know, I, I tried my best to not promote or sell 
anything that I wouldn't personally use myself. So therefore, whatever you see on camera is what I use. That's just the way it goes. Um, Petro Man's asking Kevin what fish he has. Uh, all right, all right, let's see. Gamora, what are you doing? Kitty cat. Jeez, jeez, you're just breaking stuff. This is why we can't have nice things, you know? Uh, Victoria says, I've been dreaming of a personal trout river forever. See? Yes, yes. Let's make this happen, everybody. Let us make this happen. But what if we did it? Like all of us, we just buy like huge chunks of land all together. And then we just put a river down the whole thing and a lake at both ends. And then we just have trout through it. Just saying. Um, Petro Man, Guppy Guru, do you get Brian Shrimp out of the Great Salt Lake? Um, so there's, it's like, it's really like iffy if you can or you can't. And there's like time windows when you can go out and collect. Um, so it's, it's like just one of those weird, like, I don't want to break any laws and I don't want to, I don't want to do anything that's illegal, but I also really want to do it just for fun. Um, because it would be awesome. And I've been planning on doing it for a really, really long time, but there's like, you can only collect for personal use for like three or four days out of the year. And it's like in this weirdest time of the year. And so it's, I haven't been able to do it, but I'm definitely going to at some point. Um, and I will film it. I'll get the drone out there and all that stuff too. So it is on the docket. It is on the docket. Um, Rico Stan says, it's not private, but Lake Ontario is literally in my backyard. That's pretty lucky. That is lucky. <laughs> Fishymon64 says, blah, blah, blah. Yep. I did it again. Did it again. All right. Josh is saying, hey, Guppy Guru. Any, another question. I've done two rounds of Marison. Still seeing Finrock progressing. Should I do another round? Or is there something else I could do? Um... I would probably do round two. Oh, you've already done round two. And it's still not doing anything. Um, salt. And then let's see. Uh, there's some, I can never remember what it's called. It's, it's a medication, but it's like a natural, it's a natural one. Um, This is where all of my meds and stuff are. Just right underneath me. You got these little carts. These little carts and you get to roll them around. Look at all that. And I got two of them. I got two of them. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, so Pima Fix I've done before on guppies. It works pretty good. It smells absolutely incredible. I know you're probably not supposed to do that, but it's just it's just a natural like West Indian bay leaves. So it's just natural ingredient. Um, so that one I've actually really enjoyed. A lot of people say it doesn't do anything. I've had good success with it. Um, let's see. Um, Paragard's a good one. Use that a lot. I think that's about it. Um, Pima Fix I've used. Yeah, I mean, Marison's, Marison's the way to go um, for sure. It's just weird that it's not working. Um, hmm. Yeah, I would try some salt um, and try some of that uh, that Pima fix and see if see if that helps. Uh, the Undertaker Callaway says my pleco won't come out of the aquarium. It's a beast. Ooh, big old boy. Uh, Fish tuber says so I can't catch a trout in my backyard, but I can drive five minutes and catch a mangrove snapper. Whoa! If I drive five minutes. I won't be able to hit. I could hit the Great Salt Lake, I think. That's salty, but there's no fish in it. I could catch a dead seagull. <laughs> um, 
Sandy says, we have five of those boxes of aquarium salts for all our rooms. Yes. Yeah, this stuff is a magic worker. Um, I wish API like would send me some, but I don't care if they don't because I buy this like a lot. Um, like I used to buy these little guys, which is not smart because the, the price there um, is very bad uh, for the small ones. But the big one, great deal. Great deal for sure. Um, Patty's saying, check out Canaplex. You can also use it with Focus to make it adhere to the food. Oh, yeah, I've got some of that. Yeah, Canaplex. Yeah, that's a good one. Good, good call there. Um, Canaplex, I got Focus, and I got Metroplex. So, CCAM products are really good. I also got some tapeworm dewormer stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. That just went way over across the room. Um, and then I've got garlic guard. Put that in with your uh, with your meds and then eat it up. Eat it up. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think I jumped way down in the chat. Looks like we got some cool stuff going on in between some people talking back and forth. Uh, Kevin saying, I've got guppies, CPDs, pleco, shrimp, and autos. I want some killifish, pencil fish, but hard to find the killifish I want. Yeah. It is really hard to find some really good killifish. We have a couple of really good local breeders um, that bring in a lot of stuff to us, and we really appreciate that. Um, Fresh Aquatics is Guppy Guru. Pardon me if interrupting. Any tips on growing a YouTube channel? I've been trying to make more videos. It's just too much work. Um, so... <sighs> It's, you know, it is really, it is a lot of work um, to make videos. It really is. Um, and I'm going past my hour mark. I hope no one cares. Um, but I'm going to keep talking because it seems like a really good stream and I'm having a fun time. Um, so it's, you know, with the YouTube channel, it's always hard because there's so many other people on this platform. Um, I'm very lucky. My channel has done very well. Um, and I, I give all the props to you guys on that. Um, you know, I put out content that I enjoy to make. Uh, and that I enjoy making. Um, and I think that's the biggest part of growing a YouTube channel or any anything that you like to do or want to do or love to do. Um, if you show that passion and that love in what you put out to the world, then you will you'll grow from there. Um, so pretty much it's just do the best you possibly can. Um, put out the best whatever makes you happy and you think is the best that you could possibly do, go ahead and do it. Um, you know, it's, it's also one of those things like do better, not more. Um, so like right now I could be putting out videos, but they wouldn't be where I would be happy with every single one that I put out. So therefore I've decided that it's one of those things that I would rather put out the best instead of more. Uh, so right now I'm not making any videos because I know that the quality wouldn't be where I would be happy with it. Um, and I don't want to put out anything that's not quality for you guys. Um, so that's, that's kind of what, what I've built on. Um, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, but you can always reach out to me via Instagram and ask me any other questions you got. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, looks like we got a troll. That's all right though. All right. Oh, da, 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 da. Yeah, there's some good videos from co-op for sure on that. Um, don't forget to hit the like button. Um, and yes, Josh, there are a lot of incredible um, people in here that they definitely give some good information. My thing is I always give the information that I've always used, um, but there are hundreds of other people out there that have done better than me and have done it for longer and have great information. And if there's something I don't know, I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm just going to say I don't have the answer to that. Um, so it's really it's really cool that people are are willing to uh, to give us some good good input. Good input. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Courtney's saying, "Don't forget to hit that like button." I appreciate that. All right. So here is the, since we have 40, 41 people in here hanging out with us, um, let's see, is that how many we have? 
42. All right, we got 42 people hanging out. Um, let's go through the giveaway kind of like details here. So once this stream ends, you need to go down to the bottom and comment. You need to comment your favorite fish. Doesn't matter what it is. Guppies, Asian arowana, trout, giant blue whale, whatever. Um, so it's just whatever you, you want to do. Comment it down below. And then you have till the end of today to comment. So 24 straight hours. At the end of today, we're going to take, there's like a another third party website where you take all the comments and it goes through and it does them and then gives me my winners. Those winners will then be announced on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, the Guppy Guru, um, and I'll announce them on there. And it's gonna be three $75 gift cards to our fish collective. The one stipulation is you cannot buy my fish. It has to be someone else's. We're supporting the community here on this one. It's not me, We're supporting everybody else. So definitely go on once this stream ends, put your favorite fish down below, just comment down below. And then I will go through and we will pick those three winners, probably maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll release that whenever I get those winners announced. I may do a little quick live stream to show you guys who won so that you guys can see the, the process of the, the wheel turn in and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, so that's all we, all we want you to do, but $75 to OFC. Um, what we'll end up doing is you guys place the order and I will send you guys a Venmo personally, um, thanking you and giving you that $75. So that way it's, we just kind of keep it nice and clean for everybody. But uh, but that is the giveaway plan. So if you guys have any questions, you can reach out to me via Instagram in my DMs. I always an try to answer back as best I can. Um, FishTuber says, is it cheating if I use all 12 of my accounts? Probably, probably. Uh, we wanna make it fair for everybody here. Uh, let's definitely make it fair. Um, more than one comment and get you disqualified too, right? Uh, so I'm pretty sure the the third party um, like ap application we're going to be using um, actually just goes through and uses just the name. Like it goes through the comments and finds like you know Rico Stan or Fish Tuber or Victoria or Fresh Aquatics or whoever, and it just pulls those and then it puts them into a wheel and it spins it out. So. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be one per person. Even if you comment a hundred different things, it's just going to be one. Uh, but it should be really fun. I'm really excited to see uh, who wins and what you guys get from OFC because it's going to be awesome no matter what it is because we have some incredible breeders on the site. Um, so if you have any questions about the giveaway, you can also throw them down in the, the comments down below or you can reach out to me via Instagram. It looks like a few people have already decided to follow on the Instagram page, which is awesome. Um, we're really excited about that. So thank you guys all so much. Remember to comment down below if you want to be entered to win the giveaway. And it's going to be a $75 gift card. Thank you to, let's get back up here, um, of course, Louis Snaza. And then we've got, oh my goodness. Let me get up here and I know Timothy Darling was one of them. Everything Aquariums was another. And Tiffany White, you guys are awesome. And you have made this giveaway even bigger. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, and as always, be sure to spread that guppy love. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe. Stay happy. Love you all.